Thank you, Senator Murray, for bringing us here today. And my deep appreciation to Dr. Verma and all the other doctors out there for their care and their compassion, worrying about the lives and health of women and the choices that they and their families uh, may need to make for their own health care. You know, in the months since the Supreme Court struck down Roe versus Wade, the assault on reproductive rights by anti-choice MAGA Republicans has been relentless. They want to strip women of their freedoms and the ability to choose what happens to their own bodies, to our own bodies. And if they have their way in Congress, they will enact a rigid nationwide abortion ban which will threaten women and their doctors, doctors like Dr. Verma, with jail time. Democrats are fighting for women's reproductive freedoms in every way we can. And we believe that no doctor should ever be jailed for providing women with the reproductive and often life-saving, life-saving care that they need. This is why we must pass the Let Doctors Provide Reproductive Health Care Act immediately. At a time when anti-choice states across our country are enacting strict abortion bans with no exceptions for rape, no exceptions for incest or the health or well-being of the mother. We, we are introducing legislation to protect doctors in states where abortions remain legal from facing prosecution by anti-choice states. That means if a woman from Texas travels to my state of Nevada, a pro-choice state, the Nevada doctor she sees cannot cannot be prosecuted by Texas's extreme abortion ban. Anti-choice Republicans, well, they've been fighting for decades, decades to overturn Roe versus Wade, and we know they won't stop until they've banned abortion care nationwide. We can't wait. We must protect women. We must protect doctors. We must pass this legislation this legislation that protects doctors in pro-choice states like mine from being punished simply for doing their jobs and providing much needed, often life-saving health care to women. 